Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Pisces and it will not resonate with every Pisces cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising your Venus placements in Pisces or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right. What is going on with my Pisces collective? Let's see. So we have gossip. We have finality, regret. Why does this regret card keep coming out? Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius heartbreak. Ooh, somebody's like talking to somebody. Like somebody's like talking to their friends, their family. Like somebody's talking about you. And I don't mean like they're necessarily talking about you in a bad way, but they're talking about the ending that have occurred between the two of you um somebody could also be talking about how they want to make some changes they have a lot of regrets um they're sad over this breakup or this is you talking to your friends and family whoever around you about the ending and how you wish you could go back and do things differently um somebody is unable to feel is like heartbroken over an ending like someone's grieving an ending and feels like they're not able to move on we have self-delusion maybe somebody thought that okay so if you guys thought that a third that somebody had a third party that's not the truth all right spirit says that 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 you false notions about things like if you thought that there was a third party and that's why things were not progressing between you and this person that's not the case all right so what was the problem what was the problem why was th why were things not progressing so it what was the unrequited why was it one-sided what does this mean for this person that's in their energy? What about new love? Depression, sacrifice, what? Well, this person, somebody's about to come in and try to make things right with you. What does this mean for Pisces? Sex. You guys think that somebody just was using you for sex or what about hypnotized? <laughs> Some of you guys feel like this person uh digmatized you, okay? Or they were um Yeah, they would try to reel you in or manipulate you with that i don't know or you know that they would try to manipulate you with sex or something like that Ooh, for some of you they tried to trap you with a child like a pregnancy or something that's for a slim few of you okay but um i don't know i'm not seeing clear indication of what the problem was between you and this person tell me more what was the issue why why did this come to an ending so what what does that do with anything fights there was a lot of fighting a lot of conflict you guys did have a very strong soul connection but um what's the problem hmm wish come i feel like somebody didn't see what they had when they had it because they were so hung up on how things went with their exes or past relationships and i feel like they kind of somebody sabotaged this all right somebody sabotaged this connection they maybe also need, still needed to learn some lessons. They weren't quite quite ready. Yeah. It takes somebody a really long time to build trust and to build a solid foundation with somebody. Like maybe somebody was more comfortable being friends because, yeah, they wanted to take things slow. And that maybe made you feel like they didn't want this, that they didn't have feelings for you. There was like a difference of like the way you guys wanted to progress the relationship a difference in how you guys show your feelings and emotions, like different love languages, stuff like that what what is that i feel like somebody was playing games with you though yeah why were they trying to make a decision about commitment maybe they somebody felt like they needed to take a break or they did need a break to realize what to, to decide what it was that they wanted hmm let's see
Talking about gossip. Four of Cups in reverse. Somebody's getting, yeah, somebody, if there was gossip, either somebody's gossip gave them a new perspective of you or somebody, somebody was listening to gossip and now they're seeing the truth or somebody's gossip made them look at you differently. What is that about? The world in reverse. I feel like somebody's maybe telling somebody that they don't want things to be over between the two of you. Like they, you know, maybe this was supposed to have been a final ending, but I feel like someone's talking and yeah, they're strategizing. They're kind of a little bit negative. They're kind of losing hope, but I feel like they don't want this to be over. But I feel like, yeah, they feel somebody feels that like they maybe this is like a done deal. They've missed an opportunity. What is this new perspective that they've adopted though? That, that you love them or that they love you? This is maybe somebody that couldn't recognize that you loved the shit up, shit up. Goodness, I can't talk today. That you loved them, right? And that maybe they couldn't see it because they were used to abusive, toxic situations. What about the Queen of Cups? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We also have Libra, Pisces coming through here. Um, what else? We have the Aquarius energy. Uh, what about the High Priestess? Why is the high priestess here? Somebody hasn't been listening to their intuition. They regret. They regret keeping something. Some, why can't I talk, y'all? Like, I cannot get my words out. They regret keeping something a secret here. Because now they're they're ha unhappy. They're being left behind. What were they keeping a secret? Mm, they Or they just weren't seeing something clearly. They weren't listening to their intuition. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't listening to their intuition. Maybe they felt they their intuition was telling them to offer you something or express to you something. Let's see. What is finality? Why did this come to a final end? Or what was this? Yeah, this just looks like somebody really missed an opportunity. I see a lot of energy of missed opportunity, but somebody doesn't want it to be a missed opportunity. Why, and they're now they're unable to move on from you. They're very regretful. So why why did they not? What were they doing? They were taking. They were there were set, setbacks, setbacks, obstacles. They weren't ready. They're were very immature. Maybe they needed to apologize to you, and they didn't. They were holding back from apologizing to you. What was the page of cups? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Mm, what about the Knight of Swords in reverse? The Ace of Cups. See, this person was not wanting to come to terms with their feelings for you. They were suppressing their emotions or not wanting to come to terms with their emotions and feelings. Why did this person not think you loved them? That is so weird. Why did they not think that? It's like they're realizing after the fact that, that they were confused. They were living in some type of delusion or illusion about you. They are maybe listening to what other people said. I don't know. There's something here about gossip. They didn't use the best judgment. They took the wrong advice or something here. They held back because they were confused. For some of you, they had options. But tell me about the, what the Seven of Cups is. They were indecisive about this, out of fear. They were scared. And that's what was blocking this or delaying this. They also maybe had a lot of other shit going on too. Too many burdens, extra responsibilities, struggles, obligations. Hierophant. What about the Hierophant? Taurus energy. Oh, for some of you, they hadn't gotten divorced yet. Yeah, for some of you, they hadn't gotten a divorce yet. So there was a, a lot of factors here. What does this have to do with Pisces? They want to reconcile. I feel like they, but they're not doing anything. They're not taking the risk to do this because they kind of just feel a little bit pessimistic right now. They feel like you're not going to give them another chance. Yeah, they feel like they're going to fail. But they really don't want this to be over. I see it. Mm, interesting. Tell me about regret. Ace of Wands Ravers. Yes, for some of you, they, they got rejected by you in some way. Now they're feeling regretful. Or you blocked this person. Yeah, you blocked them and now they are regretful. They regret like not putting more energy and effort into this, being hesitant. They regret hesitating. They regret not listening to their intuition and taking a leap of faith on this connection and doing what? What, were the, what should they have done? Death changed? 
They should have made some type of changes, Tony, or ended something. Two of Cups. What about the Two of Cups? Scorpio energy coming out. What does this have to do with Pisces? There was somebody that they should have ended something with. They said like this person tried to put you on hold because they were dealing with something else that they should have put up. They should have put an end to, but they didn't. It looks like it was a partnership or another relationship. They maybe chose to hold on to another relationship that they should have let go of instead of putting you on hold. They thought that you would wait. If this is somebody that's going through a divorce, they thought that you would wait until they got another situation sorted out. Why? So why didn't Pisces feel like they wanted to wait for this person any longer? The Tower, the Ten of Cups in reverse. What about it? The Four of Swords. And you started seeing something clearly. What did they start seeing about this person? The Emperor, Aries energy. You started seeing how unstable this person was. How reckless they were. Why did Pisces pull away from this person? Why did Pisces stop waiting? Mm. You just feel like this person doesn't know what they want and they had like la they lack direction. They're they're naive, they need to grow up. I feel like this is something you feel like was not going to progress towards a commitment. So you're cutting it loose. Yeah, you feel like this person was just manipulating you, stringing you along or something like that. Hmm. For some of you, you've lost your passion for this person. Like you don't, you're not feeling as passionate about them or it, like you maybe put a lot of work, effort and energy into this. You're not doing it anymore. And now they're really feeling it. Tell me about heartbreak. Yeah. There was some type of tower moment that happened between you and this person. Like, I feel like what's a tower for them too, is the fact that they're not able to move on from you and how heartbroken they are over this ending. Tell me what this means for Pisces. Yeah. The queen of cups again, Pisces, cancer, Scorpio energy. They're having some type of revelation about their feelings for you or about how you love them. Tell me more. Page of Swords in reverse and how they didn't see it. How they, they were skeptical. They were skeptical about if they could trust you, if you love them, if they should let you in. There's something about gossip. What is this gossip? Five of Pentacles? What about, what was this gossip about? The Empress, Taurus energy, what about it? What is this confusion? Somebody was telling them that they needed to not... Maybe somebody was telling them that, that you would never be, what? Oh, goodness. Something was making this person feel like they would, wouldn't be good enough for you. I really hope that their friends and family weren't telling them that they would never be good enough for you or you just, they just, or that you would maybe leave, you would abandon them. You would leave them behind. Like you guys weren't just, you just weren't on the same level. What? What is this about? The hermit Virgo energy. The Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords. Something was making this person, somebody was making, something was making someone see something that was actually wish fulfillment as something that they should be afraid of or protect themselves from. I don't know. Who are, who are these gossipers? Somebody that was manipulating your person? Like deceiving them in some way. Yeah, not being truthful. Keeping them from seeing the truth. Causing some type of confusion or something here? Trying to be controlling? That made this person feel like it was risky. Made them think small. Made them feel small. What in the hell? The Queen of Pentacles. What about that? It could be their mother or their like a, a parent parental figure. Libra, Libra energy. It could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. What about justice? This is me for them. Eight of Pentacles. What does this mean for Pisces? The Four of Wands? They're just going to regret. They're going to regret not trying to... They're heartbroken. What does the Justice card have to do with anything, though? They want to make this right with you because they're, they're heartbroken, but they're afraid. Something is making this person feel like afraid to approach you or come towards you. And I feel like it's somebody in their ear. 
people around them, they're, they're, they've, they've gotten advice or there's somebody that's talking to them and not giving them the best advice or something. What in the world? This person is very impressionable and naive. But they're going to regret when you're really done with them. I'm telling you, they're going to regret this. Tell me more. I need time for me. Okay, maybe someone's telling them that they need to just, they, they need more time being single or focusing on just themselves. That they shouldn't be putting more, you know, more energy into you or this relationship right now. That they should be focusing on themselves. I'm addicted to you, but they feel like they can't stay away from you. I am terrified. Yeah, they're scared. Let's do a couple more. I would do anything for you. Mm. You are so beautiful. Why do you need me? See, this person feels intimidated by you. They don't feel good enough. I am a very jealous person. So maybe all somebody's also telling them like, oh, you know, Pisces probably has options and they get a lot of attention from other people. Like you can't trust them. Like they'll probably cheat on you. Like somebody's putting something in this person's ear. I'm telling you. Sex with you. This person like sleeping with you. Mm, interesting. Oh, goodness. What is up here? Trust or angels. Too stubborn to change. There will be a divine intervention after hitting rock bottom. Mm-mm-mm. Twin flame. So this is possibly your twin. If there was any doubt, they are your twin flame and they're ready for union. Grass is greener. Maybe that somebody was telling them that, you know, you shouldn't settle down and commit to just one person. You should explore options like. And they, they're going to try to go out there and find, you know, try to find. Possibly try to replace you or believe that they can maybe find something better or they're keeping their options open. We have denial. Being in the denial over the relationship ending is prolonging your own suffering. Time to let go. One more. Uncertainty. Not knowing how you feel about them makes them hold back their feelings. They want certainty. We have loneliness. They're, they've been feeling so lonely. They crave your attention. Hopefully it's not out of convenience. All is well. It's like this person doesn't want to lose you. I see you guys being apart from this person. I see you focusing on yourself. I see you having a glow up after you leave this person. And they're going to be feeling like shit. They're going to be wishing that they would have handled you differently. Okay. <laughs> home. Okay. This is a time when you'll spend more time at home, uniting with family or creating your own, making decisions to accomplish the family purpose to build a stronger bond. Stagnation. Realize that perceived delays are not bad, but a process your soul needs to go through to activate your soul's potential. So take a deep breath, enjoy the journey, and trust the divine plan. Let's see one more. Flow. It says you've let go of your expectations and attachments to the idea of what you thought would make you happy and learning to get out of, out of your own way by embracing the flow of life. And we have soul tribe. If you've been feeling isolated or with few connections in the world, cheer up. You're, you're, soul, you're about to find your soul companions and form true soul connections, which will be built on trust and love. Let's do one card about this situation that's coming through. Challenge. It says, be proud of all that you've lived through and always find the good and the bad. You have the power to rise up to the challenge and build your own doors for opportunity to knock on. And we have angelic help. Your angels are relieving you of your burdens. So if you, you guys, if this person just magically leaves your life or if they walk away, fear says that they're relieving you of a burden. This person, that's their loss. They're, they're, they're going to regret this, but they're actually, this is, they're saving you a lot of heartbreak, baggage, drama, whatever they came with. Like, it's like, you're actually being saved by this person walking away from you or not seeing your worth or, you know what I mean? Like, it's actually a blessing in disguise. You'll see this. It may not feel like it at first, but yeah.
this was actually the divine, like the divine is trying to protect you from this person. And it's, this is going to be a lesson for them. Your worries and fears fading away and embracing your own inner breakthrough. Yeah. So this is what I have for you guys. Hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you could take something from this reading, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you are interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.